Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the addition principle and the multiplication principle. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, instead of starting with a, a complicated theory or explanation or definition that's hard to understand, I'm going to start by giving you an example of what the addition principle is and then try to give you a definition of it. So, imagine you have the following. Let's say you're at a restaurant and there are three options for the that have rice and there are two options that have noodles now what we want to know is, is that if we can only pick one dish one food option how many different choices do we have now again you're probably laughing like wow that's that's pretty simple Darren what are you talking about it's obvious there are three rice options and there are two noodle options that means there are five choices all together let me put a plus sign here and that is correct because this is the addition principle but what we're doing here is we're trying to build towards more complex ideals in the future so if i had to give you a definition of what the addition principle is it kind of goes according to the following the it, the the first event happens m ways so in our example our m is going to be rice so m ways and the second event happens in ways, so that's going to be our noodles. So in ways, and so for that, for rice is three, for n is two. Then uh, the the first and second events can occur m plus n ways. So this is our answer right here, and this is how it works. And so what's happening here is that all you do is you add up the total number of choices, and if you're using the addition principle, the answer will be all the choices added together because you're only picking one dish at a time here. There's no combination of, di of dishes here, just one at a time. I, if I pick rice one, I don't pick anything else. If I pick noodle two, I don't pick anything else. And that is the addition principle. And again, we're building towards ideals for permutations, which we're gonna learn about in a future video. Let's do the second one, the multiplication principle. Again, we're gonna start with an example and then work our way backwards to the definition because if you're not a math person, the definitions are really hard to appreciate. So this time, I still have the same uh, options here. But now I want to pick two dishes at the same time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it out the long way and then show you what's happening here. So I can pick rice one and noodle one. Put a little plus here. I could put rice, uh, rice one plus noodle two, I could do rice two, plus noodle one, I could do rice two, plus noodle two, I could do rice three, plus noodle one, and I could do rice three, plus noodle two. Now, one thing I need to mention is that the order does not matter here. So rice one plus noodle one is the same thing as noodle one plus rice one, the order does not matter. Now, if we add all these up, which you can clearly see, it looks like we have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And of course, you never have to work things out the long hand. Essentially, what I did was three times two will give me my six. That's what happened there. And this is an example of the multiplication principle, which if I had to try to put it in simple English, it basically means when you're making more than one choice. So in this example, we're making two choices. M ways happens and N ways follow. So remember, the rice is my M and the noodles is my N. So I have three M ways and I have two N ways. So three M ways times two N ways equals six ways altogether. So M happens and N comes after or it follows after M. The two events can occur M times N ways. And that is what's happening here. And this is an example of the multiplication principle. And we're warming ourselves up towards the ideals connected with permutations, which is something we will talk about in a future video. For now, I want to conclude this video by summarizing what we talked about and wrapping it up. So in this video, we talked about the addition principle and the multiplication principle. The addition principle is where you take all your options and you add them up to see how many options you have. So in this example, I had three rice dishes and two noodle dishes. That means I have a total of five different choices in terms of rice and noodles, assuming that I only pick one dish. And then for the second one, we looked at the multiplication principle. 
and that involves when you're making more than one choice. So in our example here, I was making two choices, one rice dish and one noodle dish. And so since I have three rice dishes and two noodle dishes, there are six choices altogether, and they are found right here at the bottom of the screen, in case you are wondering. And so that is the things that we talked about in this particular video. So I hope that this video made sense and you were able to understand what we talked about today. My name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Take care.